So now that we've added an emblem to our slide, let's add some animations. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how to use an animation appropriately or a better usage of it, and then I'm going to show you an in inappropriate usage of an animation. So on this particular slide, we have the Velocity Team logo. And if you think about velocity, it's a concept of motion and speed. So if we were to add some motion to this, it wouldn't be too out of sorts with the actual concept. So let's add in an animation from the animations ribbon. We'll add in a fly in animation. Now by default, it flew up, which doesn't quite work for me. I think I'd rather have that fly in from the side. So we have a quickly moving Velocity Team logo showing animation and the concepts align somewhat. So it's a little bit of a stretch. I probably still wouldn't use that animation if I were to build this deck, but nonetheless, it does illustrate the concept. Now let's look at something that would be an inappropriate usage. Let's add an entrance effect or multiple entrance effects to this image here. So what I want to do is I'm going to have it move in from the left. So we will add in an entrance effect. We'll add in a turn. And then we'll adjust that turn to meet how we want it to move. On this turn, the green indicates the starting position and the red indicates the ending position. So if we drag our beginning position down to the lower left corner and our ending position to where we want it to show up, the image will swoop in from the left. Okay. Now let's put another entrance effect on that because I didn't like the fact that the image was entirely visible and moving behind the other one as it flew in. So let's add also a fade in effect. Now be careful with this because if you choose an item from the animation pane here, it'll just replace our motion path. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an animation to this for fade in. Well, as you might have noticed, it faded in. We'll preview it so you can see. It flies in and then fades in. We want it to fade in while flying in. So what we need to do is we need to get those animations to start together. So to do that, I'm going to open up the animation pane. In the animations ribbon, I click on the animation pane button. And you can see the animations that we've added. Here's our animation for the text box for the fly in. I'm going to remove that so we can just make this a little bit cleaner. And now we have the motion path and we have the picture. And as I hover over, you'll see that it, it occurs on click. I want that to occur with the first animation. So I will go to, I'll click and select this one. I'll use the drop down and say, I want to start with the previous animation. Now they both start at the same time. Now let's preview this. It faded in so fast we didn't even notice it as it was flying in. So let's now change the duration of the fade to occur over the entire length of the motion. I'll select it. Actually, let's find out what the duration is of the other one first. It's the first animation takes two seconds for it to fly in. So I'll change this guy to match. I select the second animation and I adjust that to two seconds. So now it will fade in during the entire course of its motion and end up where it's supposed to be. One last thing. Let's say I wanted to change the motion path a little bit. I'll select the motion path. And if I go under Effect Options, I can edit points on it, and I can make it do something crazy, like move in a really distorted pattern. And now let's see what it does. All right, so I will reiterate, this is a bad use of an animation. It's doing all sorts of wacky things to no effect or no coordination with the actual concepts on the slide, but I've shown you how to add animations, add multiple animations, change the duration, and synchronize them. All right, why don't you have some fun with this now?